So far, we've learned a number of ways to insert sound effects and audio clips into your presentation. You have the ability to extend your sound so that it plays across any number of slides. Let's take a look at all the different places where you can control that setting. By default, when you move to the next slide, your sound stops. On my title slide, I have some light music that I'd like to play during the first two slides and a B buzzing that I'd like to play for my next two slides. I'll click on the sound clip on my title slide and then I'll go up to the Sound Tools Options tab. Where it says Play Sound when clicked, I'll drop that down and change this to Play Across Slides. So now, when I go to the next slide, the sound will keep playing. When you do change Play Sound to Play Across Slides, PowerPoint also sets the sound to start automatically as soon as you move to the slide. If you still want to start the playback manually by clicking on the speaker, go to the Animations tab and then click on the Custom Animation button to open up the pane on the right-hand side. Click on the drop-down arrow next to your sound and change the top action from Start After Previous to Start On Click. Now, the clip won't start playing until you tell it to, but it will continue through to the next slide. If you want the clip to keep repeating itself indefinitely, click on the speaker again and then go back to Sound Tools and Options again. On the left-hand side, Click the check mark in front of Loop Until Stopped. Now the clip will repeat itself as you move through the slideshow, instead of stopping after the first time through. If you want the clip to play for just a specific number of slides, click on the drop-down arrow next to the sound in the Custom Animation pane again, and choose Effect Options. In the middle section called Stop Playing, the last option says After, and you can choose the number of slides. Since we'd already set it to play across slides, you'll see a 999 here, set to the maximum so that there's no concern about adding slides and accidentally stopping short. I'll change this to two slides and then click OK. Now let's look at another technique. If you've applied a sound to a slide transition, as I showed you how to do in a previous chapter, you can set it so the sound doesn't stop after it's played once. I'll go to slide three and then I'll go back to the Animations tab. On the right side of the ribbon, there's an option for Transition Sound. When you drop down the list, you could choose any of these sound effects, but personally, I wouldn't want to loop these constantly. I'll go down to the bottom and choose Other Sound, and then navigate to my B Buzz. Now don't forget, as I showed you in the video about transition sound effects, that your own transition audio clips must be saved as WAV files. I'll click OK. Go back up to the drop-down again, and at the very bottom, there's an option for Loop Until Next Sound. I'll click on it, and this will play my B-Buzz repeatedly until you choose another sound on another transition. On slide 5, I already have another transition sound applied so that we can see this effect in action. I'll go back to slide 1, and let's play our slideshow. On slide 1, my sound will start when I click on it. And it will continue onto slide two. Then my transition sound plays during slides three and four. And then stops on slide five when another transition sound plays. The ability to span your audio effects across slides allows you to continue to provide content even as long sounds play, and to continue sounds as long as they support your point. As always, be sure to choose sounds with further understanding of your concept, so that they're neither gratuitous nor distracting to your audience.